DACA's back and for first time of applicants also. It's a long time coming since 2017 really and we're really happy today. So this is good news. Now let's talk about what happened recently. This is what the judge ordered. He explicitly stated that on the USCIS website and any related immigration agency related website needs to have a posting. If this information needs to be posted on those websites within three days of the order. So the order was issued out this past Friday. So essentially that means Monday. Number one, the work permit will be issued not for one year, but for two back to two years. And number two is that new applicants who have never applied before can apply now. Or even if you've been rejected before and didn't have the appropriate evidence, you can apply essentially again for the very first time. This order includes the judge said, stating that Department of Homeland Security needs to allow advanced parole applications through the on the basis of DACA. Uh, because in the July memorandum by Chad Wolf, he said that there would be no more advanced paroles for DACA recipients. Now, the important thing is how can the judge enforce this, right? There's always an order, but then clearly the Department of Homeland Security likes, does not want to comply with any of the orders, including SCOTUS, Supreme Court. So this particular judge explicitly stated that they need a report back to the court, the Eastern District of New York with a report, stating number one, with respect to people who apply for DACA for the first time, how many people applied in general, how many people were rejected and how many people and how many were approved, how many were processed and denied. So they want to basically the judge wanted a full report. This judge also wanted to know how many people under the same criteria approved, just applied in general, approved, denied, uh, processed and rejected based on Chad Wolf's memorandum in July. In my opinion, this judge wanted to showcase to the public how ridiculous this Department of Homeland Security is under President Trump. Now, here's a quick summary of what the heck's been going on with DACA this summer. Remember in 2017, Christian Nielsen sent out a memo rescinding and basically revoking DACA. And now here we come 2020, June 2020, summer, Supreme Court ruled that under the opinion of Chief Justice Roberts, his opinion stated that he ruled that Trump administration violated the Administrative Procedures Act, saying that it was arbitrary and capricious in its attempt to terminate the program. We have a previous video that we discussed that up here. In July this year, 2020, Acting Secretary Chad Wolf closed DACA down from new applicants. So new applicants still cannot apply. He wanted to make that clear. And people also could not have, could not apply for advanced parole basically the travel permission for people who have DACA. And he also shortened the time period from two year work permit validity to one year, which all other work permits are only for one year. Now what's happened this past week? Eastern District of New York Judge Nicholas Garofis handed out a decision on Friday, December 4th in favor of DACA recipients and DACA applicants. Number one, he explicitly restored DACA to people who have not applied before but still qualify due, based on the requirements that we discussed earlier. By the way, this very same judge ordered that Acting Secretary Chad Wolf violate the Homeland Security Act of 2002. And so he did that just about, I believe, a month or two ago. And this is important because he stated that Acting Secretary Chad Wolf had no legal authority to issue out any legal mandates. For example, the one we just discussed in July that he changed it from two years to one year and also saying that no new applicants could apply for DACA. Now there's reports that there's an estimated 1 million people who could qualify for DACA. There's about 600,000 people who currently have DACA. So you can imagine how many people really could have obtained this benefit for really for the greater of the economy. Friends, if you're new to this channel, please click subscribe down below, click the bell so you get all the future notifications on our videos and smash the like button and please leave a comment. Let us know if you believe you are eligible for DACA and how this will benefit you. So this is great news. Please share this video with your friends, share the news, and let us know how we can help. Until next time, please continue wearing your mask. Friends, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, click the link below. It's called Immigrant Guide and Support Living in America. It's a community where people can share their tips and challenges and what they've experienced and also tips about how to live in America, essentially, how to get around. 
because there's a lot that people need to get acclimated to as an immigrant.